What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell by today's video, we are gonna be tackling an extremely messy closet. And for those of you who have been around for a while, you know this is not my apartment. This past weekend, I was actually up north visiting my mom and she so generously let me deep clean, declutter, and completely organize her linen closet. And as I'm sure most of you out there can relate, we sometimes let messes like pile up and up. Before we know it, we have this complete disaster with no organization whatsoever. I'm going to be completely emptying this entire closet and starting from ground zero. I'm also going to be sharing some super helpful tips and tricks along the way to kind of hopefully help inspire and motivate you guys to tackle a project like this. Make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end because just like myself, you will not believe the transformation. I share before and after clips and the closet transformation is insane. So if you guys are ready, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's dive right into this disaster. Whenever I tackle a big project like this, I first need to make sure I'm in the right headspace. This can seem very overwhelming if you just jump right into it without a plan of action. So I'm going to be following the KonMari method to declutter this entire closet. And the first rule of thumb when decluttering and organizing is to first take everything out. And I know some people might think that is extreme, but when you're dealing with a closet that looks like this, it is very important to declutter and really figure out an organizational solution that works so that you don't continuously fall back into the same patterns. Another reason why you should take everything out is because Marie Kondo always says that you need to touch every single item and decide whether or not it works for you and brings you joy. Otherwise, get rid of it. As I'm pulling stuff out of this closet, I'm finding that my mom has so many towels, empty boxes, and just an overflow of extra products that I'm sure she didn't know were in here. Overall, I'm really just looking forward to helping my mom declutter this space and transform it into something that she is proud of and overall just better utilize the space that she has. You will see my special helper throughout today's video. This is my sister's dog, Winnie, and she has my whole heart. I'm not kidding. If she could be my dog, I would snatch her up in seconds. I always joke that my sister should put a bow on her and gift her to me for Christmas, but even though I know that's not gonna happen, I just try to sneak in as many snuggles and playtime as I can while I'm visiting at home. Winnie is also a very curious dog and just loves to be anywhere that something is going on, so you are gonna see her pop in and out of today's video. We are just about done emptying the entire closet and I will be sure to give you an overview of what it looks like completely emptied. In my opinion, this alone just gives me a ton of motivation because there is nothing better than starting with a nice clean slate. We have so much space to work with now and this will really help us determine what should stay and what should go. I don't think this closet has ever been completely emptied since we moved in here, so I'm gonna give the racks a really good wipe down, and I'm also gonna make sure I get like the door frames and stuff. Once that is done, I'm also going to be vacuuming in here, and then I'm gonna be washing the floors because I don't know if you guys saw in the last clip, but something definitely spilled on the floor, and it needed to be cleaned up. Also, because I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions, there is this big cutout in the lower left-hand corner of this closet because Apparently it's like a crawl space and it has a lot of different like controls for things in the house. So if something were to go wrong, like in the in-floor heating and it needs to be repaired, that is where they would go to fix it. I know it is a very random spot for it, but I just learned about it this weekend because I noticed it was there and I was just really curious. So I asked my mom. I 
I was really crossing my fingers that my mom's Swiffer wet jet would do the trick, but unfortunately it didn't. So I went ahead and grabbed a bucket of hot soapy water and I'm just gonna do it by hand. Here is just a quick overview of everything that we pulled out of this linen closet. And I actually handed all of the towels over to my mom and I told her to sort them into two piles. Ones that she wanted to keep because they were really nice and also ones that she wanted to throw away because they were old and it was just time for them to go. Also, we are going to be using these buckets and bins to organize everything. My mom actually had these smaller clear bins on hand already and also these white bins from the Dollar Tree. They have just been sitting collecting dust for months, so we are finally putting them to use. The only thing that we purchased for this project was another pack of the clear bins with the gray tops, but just in the larger size. This is another really good tip if you guys are trying to save money or just don't want to spend money. Shop your home just to see what you have available. The Dollar Tree also has some wonderful options, and again, they're only $1 each, and they work great. Right now, I'm just trying to move the bins around just to see what works the best in this space. Just as I was starting to dive into all the organization, my little helper came back and just had to give me some kisses. You guys, Winnie seriously melts my heart and I just cannot get enough of her. Over the weekend, it snowed here in Minnesota and Winnie loves to be outside. Her new favorite activity is to go sledding. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, over the weekend, I shared a quick clip of her jumping into the sled with me and we went down this small little hill. It was the cutest thing ever. But speaking of Instagram, I also just really quick wanted to thank you all so much. If you follow me over there, you helped me reach my goal of hitting 1000 followers, which is amazing. I just started my Instagram earlier this year as a way to connect with you all a little bit easier. I only share two videos a week here on YouTube. So if you want something a little more frequent, then definitely head over to Instagram and give me a follow over there. My username is olivia.n.sword. But right now I'm just going through and refolding all of the towels. There is nothing wrong with the way my mom had them folded, but I just think it looks way better and a lot neater and also keeps things even. I feel like stacks of towels start to kind of slant unless you have them like tri-folded like I'm doing right now. And I just like nice, even piles. Right now, I'm just going to start putting all of these towels back in on the shelves. And I really quick just want to apologize because in a minute here, the focus went in and out for a few seconds. But hang tight. I promise it gets better very quickly. And back to the towels. When I was folding all of these towels... I had separated them into two piles. And if you remember a little while ago when I handed them all to my mom, I had her separate them into two piles. So what she did is separated them into one she wanted to keep and one she wanted to get rid of. So I'm taking the ones that she wanted to keep and separating them into a pile of really nice ones in case guests come over just because they're a little bit more expensive and fluffy and full and just really nice. And then I'm also taking the other ones that are still nice, but just maybe not as good quality. So like maybe Marshall and I can use them when we stay the weekend. Up next, we're moving on to the hand towels and washcloths. There were not too many of these, so I'm quickly just gonna fold them the long way, but again, still in the tri-fold so that they fit on the shelf a little bit better. I would love it if all of these towels matched and they were bright and white and fluffy and just everything in this closet was aesthetically pleasing. But to be honest, that's not realistic. My mom is not about to go out and spend a ton of money on new baskets to fill this space and towels just so that the inside of a closet that no one sees can be Pinterest worthy. I am just as guilty as the next person, but do not compare yourself to what you see online. Everyone has different homes and spaces, and it can be very easy to get discouraged, especially when you're trying to declutter and organize a space like this, and it's just not coming out as what you visioned. 
you need to look at the positives and think about where you started. This closet was a complete disaster. There is no doubting that. But when you see the end result and all of the hard work that you put in, it's amazing regardless of the baskets that you have or the fact that none of your towels match. In the end, that does not matter and you will still be left with an amazing space that's functional and organized. But right now I'm just going through and trying to consolidate everything into bins. And I'm doing that by taking these bins and storing products of similar categories. I'm using one of the larger bins to store all of like the extra light bulbs before they were kind of just scattered all over on different shelves. Some of them even had just like one or two light bulbs in it and they were the exact same brand. So I went ahead and consolidated those just to kind of cut down on the number of boxes. I also made piles of all the extra first aid supplies. I also made a basket for like the sunless tanning, sunscreen, and aloe vera during the summertime. In the linen closet, my mom also had a ton of cotton products like Q-tips and cotton balls. So I went ahead and consolidated all of those into one bin. What I'm doing is basically taking similar products and just putting them in a bin that makes sense. If it makes sense for something to be on its own, then I leave it that way. I don't try to force things to fit into bins just so that they don't have to take up space somewhere else. Remember, you want this space to be functional and easy to use. I really like these white bins from the Dollar Tree, especially for liquid products that need to stand up. I don't know if I would feel comfortable laying these types of products down in the slight chance that they leaked everywhere. So these white bins are great for products like that. I also really like how modern they are and how sleek they are. They have a few other colors I know at the Dollar Tree, but I feel like the white is just so clean and it really adds a lot to this space for only $1. So between my mom, sister, and I, we each go to the dentist at least twice a year for checkups, and every single time they send us home with a bag of toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, just all of it, and it has piled up over the last few years. My mom and I had a discussion, and I actually told her that she should donate some of this stuff to like the church or an organization that can use stuff like this. And right now our church is not open just due to the state of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and just organize this all for the sake of the video. Right now I'm just going to be putting the toothpaste and floss in one bin and then also the toothbrushes in their own separate bin just because it took up a lot of space and they didn't all fit into one. Right now, I'm just adding in both heating pads into its own separate bin and then tossing the box. This is a huge reason why you should declutter and organize because believe it or not, one day my sister wanted to use the heating pad and she couldn't find it in the linen closet. So my mom went out and bought another one. And here they both are. <laughs> when you have an organized space, it's just much easier to see things and find what you are looking for. Same thing with the Clorox toilet bowl wand refills. There were two boxes, unnecessary, I think it was like 40 total. So I just went ahead and took them all out and gave them their own bin. I also might be stealing a few of these just because I couldn't find these anywhere for the longest time. So I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing that my mom has some extra because when I need them, I know where to find them. So I don't want you all to think that I just came in here and started throwing away stuff without my mom's consent. This is obviously her stuff, not mine, but the majority of it, I could determine what was trash, what could be donated and what should stay. There were quite a few things that I asked her about throughout this process, just to kind of determine what she wanted to do with it. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. 
I don't know why, but I got such a kick out of this. So it's obviously an old radio box, but I was half expecting to find an old radio in here. But nope, it turned out to be a bunch of like shoe buffing products. So very random, but my mom wanted to keep all of them. So I decided to ditch this old radio box and designate a bin for them. It did take quite a while to move things around in here before I finally found how it all best fit. I didn't keep it all in here, but I ended up moving most of it a few times before finally coming up with something that worked. Right now, these are all of my sister's records that used to be in the linen closet for whatever reason, who knows, but they were in a torn box that was really old. So I decided to take one of our moving boxes that was a little bit more sturdy and I transferred all of the records into there. I also put this box in her bedroom because in my opinion, there's no reason that these should be in the linen closet. Another tip that I have when decluttering and organizing a space like this is to use like air fresheners or these little scent bags. I also love to use bar soap that's in the boxes because the scent is so fresh and they last a very long time. I'm not sure if I showed that in the video, but I do end up hiding a few of those soap boxes in here so that everything stays fresh. And to kind of wrap things up, I am gonna label everything. My mom has had this label maker for many, many years, but hasn't used it for a very long time. And I think it is the perfect opportunity, especially because I was the one that kind of organized it for her. And I want her to be able to easily detect what's in each bin so that it doesn't have to be this huge search for what she's looking for. I am so excited to share the end result with you all. Once I get all of these labels on each of the bins, I will do just that. Remember, I did go ahead and move things around quite a bit and I think it made such a difference. So make sure to stay tuned. All right, you guys, here is the before shot and here is the after. It is such a dramatic difference and I cannot believe how it all turned out. On the top shelf here, I just have like cotton products and hair tools. I also have this extra supply bin with like mouthwash and things like that. Here are the two bins with like the heating pad and the shoe buffer stuff. Here's all of the tanning products for the summer, like sunless tanning and aloe vera. We have the light bulbs and the first aid kit. The middle shelf has all of our towels, like beach towels, regular towels, hand towels. And then the bottom shelf, you can see all of our luggage over there, the two bins of dental supplies. And then over on the right, we have extra Kleenexes, the Clorox toilet bond, wand refills. And then at the bottom is just a few extra shower curtain liners. I am still in awe of just how much of a difference this made. I am so, so happy I could do this for my mom and I know she really appreciates it. To wrap all of this up, I'm just gonna pack up a box of all the things that are either being donated or throw the things that need to be tossed. But all that being said, I really hope you all enjoyed this complete closet transformation. I had such a fun time filming this, and if you liked today's video, I would really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and just letting me know down below in the comments. Also, please let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. I can try to do that for you. Before you leave, I would really love it if you would all hit that red subscribe button and maybe check out a few of my other recent videos. I have shared my Christmas series, so if you're interested in that, I will have all of those videos linked down below in my description box. But I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye.